Welcome to this X8R video demonstrating how to install our CP1 fuel pump replacement seals. It's a very common problem on these pumps for the original seal to deteriorate, leading to leaks from the fuel pump. Our replacement seals allow you to resolve these issues. Start by removing the third valve solenoid. Remove the three T20 torques. With all three torques removed, remove the solenoid. You may have to twist the solenoid to be able to remove it. Removing the fuel pressure regulator. Remove the two T30 torques. With both torques removed, the regulator will just lift off, revealing the gasket, which also needs to be removed. Before removing the cylinder head on the fuel pump, please label them 1, 2 and 3. This is key for refitting. Remove the four T40 torques. On removing the fourth torque, please press down on the cylinder head as it can release with force as it is spring-loaded from beneath. With the cylinder head unbolted, lift out the spring at the same time. With the cylinder head removed, remove the plunge spring and the o-ring that goes around the plunge spring. This will reveal the valve cage, which also needs to be removed. There is a small metal washer or o-ring beneath the valve cage. This also needs to be removed and replaced. Remove the o-ring at the top. Now you need to remove the fuel gallery. This will reveal two o-rings beneath, a plastic one and a rubber one. With the fuel gallery removed, pry out the plastic o-ring using a small pick or a small pair of pliers. Repeat for the rubber o-ring beneath the plastic one. Remove the three T30 torques to allow the drive shaft to be removed. With the three T30 torques removed, lift up the drive shaft. This will reveal the two O-rings that need replacing. Also remove the drive shaft cam. This will simply lift up once the drive shaft is removed. Removing the O-rings on the drive shaft. Using a pick or a small pair of pliers, pry out the old O-rings. Fitting the new O-rings to the drive shaft. Slide the correct O-ring over the correct slot. Slot into place, making sure it is inserted fully into the groove all the way round. Repeat again for the other O-ring. Refit the drive shaft cam, making sure it is centralised in the hole. With the cam fitted, refit the drive shaft. On refitting the drive shaft, try to align the shaft with the bolt holes. With the shaft aligned correctly, refit the three T30 torques, tightening them up evenly and making sure they are tightened correctly.
removing the O-rings from the pump body. Using a small pick or a pry tool, pick out the plastic O-ring. This will reveal the rubber O-ring beneath. Again, pick the O-ring out. Refitting the O-ring into the pump body. Slot the O-ring into the hole, making sure you are fitting the rubber O-ring first. Using a blunt instrument, slot the O-ring into the correct position. Fitting the plastic O-ring or washer. Again, using a blunt instrument, press into the correct position. Refitting the O-rings into the cylinder head. Slot the O-ring into the hole, making sure you are fitting the rubber O-ring first. Using a blunt instrument, press into the correct position. With it pressed in, fit in the plastic O-ring or washer. Once again, you may need to use a blunt instrument to press into the correct position. Refit the fuel gallery, which will just press in, making sure it is central and aligned correctly. Refit the metal o-ring or washer that sits beneath the valve cage, making sure it is aligned correctly. With that aligned correctly, you can now refit the valve cage. Fit the new o-ring that goes around the plunger spring. Refit the plunger spring on top of the valve cage. And lastly, fit the new o-ring. This may need to be pressed in. Using a blunt instrument, press into the correct slot. Repeat this stage for all three cylinder heads. With the cylinder heads rebuilt and the O-rings replaced, slot the cylinder head back into its correct position, making sure the O-ring round the plunger spring stays seated. Holding the cylinder heads in the correct position, refit the T40 Torx. Start at the bolts, using your fingers to avoid cross-threading into the pump body. With all four bolts refitted, make sure you do up the bolts evenly and to the correct torque setting, which is 25 newton meters. Refit the third valve solenoid into the cylinder head, making sure it is seated correctly, and refit the three T20 torques. Refit the fuel pressure regulator, making sure the gasket is fitted. 
Then refit the two T30 torques, making sure they are done up tightly. This completes the repair. Thank you for watching this X8R video. If you have any questions, you can contact us on 01843 446643 or you can email us at sales at x8r.co.uk. Thank you.